on uh, World Refugee Day, we think of the more than 65 million people that are displaced globally because of war or persecution. While we think of them on this day, their displacement, however, is not just for one day. They are often displaced uh, for many months and years. This is why our actions also cannot be limited in the short term. As you know, the European Commission has been taking a number of important steps to address the challenges of the ongoing refugee crisis, both inside and outside Europe. In fact, today, the European Union Regional Trust Fund, in response to the Syrian crisis, is delivering new projects for 275 million to support Syrian refugees and their host communities in Turkey, Lebanon, Jordan, Iraq, the Western Balkans, and Armenia. Uh, the support from uh, the European Union Syria Trust Fund has now crossed the uh, amount of 1 billion euros. In the span of two years, we have built a comprehensive and a proactive approach to managing migration in a holistic way. But we cannot remain in crisis modus forever. We need uh, to think about the future. Migration is not just uh, about challenges. It is also about opportunities. Refugees and migrants come with their own experiences, talents, and skills. This can be real assets for our economies and uh, societies overall. While uh, around a quarter of non-EU nationals in the European Union have tertiary education degrees, almost two-thirds of them are overqualified for their jobs or even without a job. Investing in early labor market integration is therefore paramount. I am very happy to present to you today with my colleague and friend Marianne Thyssen a joint effort to shorten the journey for newly arrived migrants and refugees to employment. What actually we launched today is the Skills Profile Tool. This will help migrants to present their skills, qualifications, and experiences in a way that is well understood by different actors, employers, authorities, organizations, NGOs, across the whole European Union. Marianne can tell you more about it. Learning from the past, and particularly in the current context, we cannot start early enough without with facilitated integration. Some EU countries already have well-developed integration policies, but others are more new to this. And this is precisely where we can really help. At the EU level, we want to streamline the common effort so that all member states can make use of it in full or in part, freely and easily. Labour market integration is a shared responsibility between governments, public employment services, local actors, but also the private sector, of course. This is why, on this occasion, I would also like to recall the initiative that the Commission launched on the 23rd of May to promote employers' efforts to support the integration of refugees and other migrants. I invite all economic actors to join the Employers for Integration initiative in order to make a real difference on the ground together. As I said earlier, migration is not just a challenge, but an opportunity. Today is a day to remember not just the vulnerabilities of refugees, but their many capabilities their resilience 
and their talents. Thank you very much for your attention.